Hi, I'm Chris from Air Windows, and hey, you can do this. Because this is Air Windows C Region 2. Now you might ask, what is Z Region 2? Well, the Z series plugins are EQ plugins designed to act like a classic EMU sampler. And Region is a Air Windows EQ plugin that as you can see in the picture, let me get this picture together. As we can see in this picture, the uh, VST has input, first, last, poles, and a dry wet. I was showing you the dry wet. The uh, first is the first in a series of band passes that the sound goes through. And it is a EQ that can distort very, very heavily. Last is the last band pass that the sound goes through. And poles, 0 0.5 is about two poles, but you can have more. Why do this? This is not present in the uh, Z series sampler that the Z plugins are originally modeled after. Because region gives me the opportunity to get a sort of crazy bass amp like sound as you can hear when I throw it in. But check it out, with poles, we can increase the effect, not simply by sharpening it up, but also we're adding more stages of distortion between this first and last setting. Acts like this. So with that, we have a initial EQ place that is kind of in the mid-range here, and then progressively going further until we get a band pass in the deep bass. This causes a effect where there is a lot of mid-range articulation, but then it just blooms out into the low frequencies. And I'm gonna be using this for like bass tones and things, but check it out, you can do this. This, the way this works is you're hitting the first stage first and going into that sequence of distortions. If you match them up, like I can do here, it's basically a really tight band pass. Or in the lows, like this. It's a really beefy sound. But if you stagger them, you can move the initial one higher or the final one higher and the succession of band passes will splay out allowing you to do stuff like this.
this is low first and high last or so you get very different effects based on whether you want the sort of high mids or whatever you have in the first stage to distort first and then all the results of that get funneled into each successive band pass along with its associated distortion and it goes onwards until you get to the final one so like i said i'll be using it for bass amps and you can dial in any degree of dirt low frequency heaviness but we can also use this pulse control to get a more subtle effect going on where you're not going through as many stages of saturation. an interesting effect where our first band pass is really low frequency A little gain compensation messing around there that is causing things to be loud and distorted. Bear in mind that this is also running into the Z series analog emulation. That's what we're hearing when we do this. And this is Z region 2 because I'm demonstrating this one because I'm moving stuff around so much. Thing is, I've also got Z region without the two. We'll just set this to the bass amp tone while I continue talking about it. Z region one, which is just listed as Z region, is this without the control smoothing. So what you get there is exactly the same sounds but if you move this stuff around with this enlarged pointer here what you'll get is maybe some crackling noises but if, if this is the sound you wanted you can run this exact sound with less CPU if that helps you in your mix Assuming this sound helps you at all. And the reason I'm putting that out rather than just only Z region 2 is because if you don't need to move the controls around, we don't need to recalculate all the coefficients each time. So Z region 2, like all the Z2 filters, is with the control smoothing so that you can manipulate them and get a smoother sound. For each of these, there was a original version, the Z region, or indeed Z low pass, Z band pass, and so on. And those are the uh, filter that you can use if you're not adjusting the controls, or if you like the slight crackliness and the sort of glitch-tastic quality of it. 
and they should run with a lot lower CPU because they're still doing all the same stuff, but they don't have to recalculate every different control, every sample. And uh, there you have it. So um, I hope you like Z Region 2. As you can see, I am still up in Canada, but I will be heading back home quite soon. And the next time you see me, I'll be posting from uh, Vermont where I live. And I'm looking forward to doing, I've got a bunch of stuff in store. You wouldn't believe the plugins I have coming for you. And I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.